And now, come dockside with the captain as we discuss fishing reports, the newest electronic gear, boats, and much more. And now, here's the captain. Ahoy, boaters, sting potters, rag rippers, and fishermen. Hey, let's bring them all up to dockside. You're with the captain. Good morning on a very, very chilly morning here in Sarasota, Florida. I want to talk about one more thing. Do we have two minutes? Is that what I got? I met a lady the other day, and one of my uh, guests sitting in the studio was with me. Uh, we were uh, trotting around, Brent and I, over on uh, St. Armand's, and we went into Wyland Studio. We met a lady by the name of Joyce Simpson, and she has written a book called Moby's Tale, which is about a dolphin she raised. Here's the bad part. The dolphin's missing. Oh. Somebody came in thinking they were just really being brilliant and released it from its pen. It had never been in the wild. It was always was captive. It always knew how to fish and all that. But it is somewhere around Venice looking for Joyce Simpson. So if you see a dolphin that comes up and sticks his head up and looks up at you, he's looking for Joyce Simpson. And uh, Joyce is a very charming lady. I've got her book called Moby's Tale. Uh, you might want to even pick it up. It's uh, not very expensive, but uh, it certainly is a very revealing book. I blasted through it. I got to. I got to be honest here. I blasted through it a little, a little quickly. But Joyce is is a very charming gal. And she's looking for her dolphin, Moby. Come home. Come home, Moby. Uh, and, of course, you know, she is an expert with the handling of dolphins. So that is, uh, you know, it's not like she doesn't know what she's doing. She's she's had this guy since he was a little calf. Well, I hope he comes back soon. Well, he's there. The thing is, people have spotted him, and, and they've called her and said, I've seen your dolphin because he stops by all the boats looking. I mean, he doesn't just swim by. He stops and looks, and he checks everything out. So he's down there somewhere in the Venice Harbor area looking for Joyce, and Joyce is looking for him. And if you get any... Uh, signs of Moby, uh, let us know. Uh, you can call me here at uh, 941 954 2339. Hang on, you'll be right back with the captain, and you are all tied up to Dockside. Again, uh, call us if you see Moby so we can get the word to Joyce Simpson about her missing dolphin. You know, it's one thing to go out and do a missing dog report. I've never, <laughs> I've never done a missing dolphin report before. All of that. How about this missing dolphin? Sad story. It really is. And uh, you know, the dolphin's very people friendly, so he wouldn't really want to get out with his own kind because he knows people better than he knows other dolphins. You know, it's kind of like what we're trying to do with you is get you introduced to people. <laughs> <laughs> One person at a time. One person. You want to see if we've got uh, the guys over there? Do we want to go to a break? Why don't we go to a break, and then we'll try them during the break. All right. Why don't you do that? And, Mickey, are you going to stick, or are you going to uh, drop, your, uh, drop your lines and head your boat out here? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to have to head out there. Okay. So appreciate you having me on, and please stop by and visit our new store in Palmetto. We're going to get out of here. Engineer Doug's going to break the lines, and all the folks are going to pull up the bumpers. We will see you next week, same time, same place. You've been Dockside with the captain. Which uh, is quite interesting because we're really talking environment here. We're talking about a lot of environmental issues, which, by the way, Engineer Doug is very good about not throwing the garbage over the side. He makes sure that everything is... Uh, Put in bags, and we always throw it into the uh, big old garbage containers when we get back. But you know, I said this before, and, and Mickey, you, you're a sailor. You know what I'm talking about. You go out, you are sailing along, and you see somebody heave a can over, or they heave a plastic bottle over, or ungodly, like one great big cruise liner, they start throwing the garbage bags out. Well, that may yeah. sound really good, except what does it do on the bottom of the ocean to the critters? Yeah, it's uh, definitely bad for the bottom as well as just the fish swimming around. This is Joe Fitzgerald at Florida Land in Sarasota, Florida. The world's first porpoise-to-porpoise porpoise -porpoise long-distance telephone call will be made.
made shortly by Moby Dick, star of the Porpoise Show here at Fort Landon South. Distance connection. I beg your pardon? Were you able to hear the our porpoises talking underwater just now? Yes, we could. Uh, we had two of them on that, so. Uh, were you able to hear the whistle as well as the chirp? Yes. Good, good. Oh, wonderful. We swim with Moby and the porpoise here, too. We just did. Good. Yes, yeah, they. I beg your pardon? How do you like swimming with them? Oh, I love it. Moby takes you for a ride on his back, and they love to play tag. We swim quite frequently with them. Oh, wonderful. Okay, uh, just a minute. Mr. Claus wants to talk to you again. Hello, Joyce? Yes? Have you been doing much I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Have you been doing, um, much work with trying to, um, communicate with Corpus? Uh, he is here with, on our own with, yeah. with our porpoise, trying to understand them and for them to understand us. Yeah. Have you had any luck? Have you had any luck? Have you had any luck? Yes. Several occasions we've heard them say certain words. Uh, what words? Uh, please? Hello? I want a piece of fish and happy birthday. I want a what? I want a piece of fish. I didn't hear. I want a piece of fish. I want a That's what Moby said. <laughs> I want a piece of fish. No, I uh, still didn't hear. I'm sorry. No, I say that on several occasions we have heard them say words, such as Moby will say, please. I want a piece of fish. I want a piece of fish. Yes. Hello? And happy birthday. Happy birthday. And also goodbye. And goodbye. So far I have.